Well, it's a blustery day. You can actually, if I turn this round, there's my view of it being pretty blustery. So, that's the weather forecast for today. But, I want a serious, serious minute with you because Davis, Mr A. Davis, Labour, is standing for the Senate again. Next Thursday is the vote. Now, many of you won't be bothered to vote. And also, many of you have read about how Davis has let Blimey Gwent down badly. Apart from doing actually nothing to help Blimey Gwent and get it out of some poverty that it's rife. He then, not long ago, has the temerity... After passing a law telling everybody the clubs are closed, they cannot go for a drink, he then goes on the lash with his mates in the bar in the Senate. Now, that is a guy that must never represent. Blind Gwentic. damn, he must never represent anyone again. He has no morals, he has no fibre, and he does not, does not represent the people. He represents himself. Now, that is that rant over, but now a little bit of sense. Who do you vote for? Cancel Labour, because that's Davis. I mean, some of you will, that are supporters of Labour, but it's your choice. I would say that if you haven't voted before, and you want Davis out, just this once, on Thursday, go down a pole, put your cross in a box that isn't Davis. All right, any box, choose, make a choice, but if you've nothing voted for, first time, make your cross count to get rid of this dangerous, drinking, drunken Davis. He's a shocking representative, and I cannot think of anyone who could pass a law thinking it doesn't apply to himself. Now, that's wrong. He must not get back in. If he gets in on Thursday, what you're doing is you're giving him a job for five years, from which he will earn around half a million pounds. Does that guy deserve it? God, no. Most definitely not. Do not vote Labour Davis in Bliner Gwent. Now... If you haven't voted and you want him out, go down there for the first time. Very simple. Put a cross in a box. Decide yourself who it is. I could put a recommendation in because I don't think there's enough females in the Welsh Parliament. Not by a long chalk. Vote for Mandy Moore. She's the only female and a quality candidate of the bunch. And she's independent, so she won't be tied by any of these party rules and policies that can stop people doing their job. But she, independently, I am very confident, will be the best choice for Bliner Gwent. Now, if you do agree with me, please share this uh, video when it goes back up after I'm, I'm live at the moment. Scary. But no, I'm not scared because I am angry. I am angry that Eve Davis has the temerity to even stand for election again. I understand that he's bullying people, the other candidates. I understand various dirty tricks he's up to at the moment on the doorsteps. But if he knocks on your door, what will you say to him? There you have it. If Drinking Davis knocked on your door, what would you say? I know what I'd say. But this is a family show. So, I recommend heartily that you put a cross in the box for the independent lady, Mandy Moore. I'm sure she's the best choice, and I've, 
I've been voted in Abertillery many times, and it's more of the same old, same old. But Davis in same old, same old. Nothing gets done. Poverty still remains. Vote Mandy Moore independent, and she then can be judged properly as someone who I think can do the best job in Blind the Gwent. Now, if you agree with me, share this. If you don't agree with me, excellent. Comment below, and I will answer them personally. Now, I'm a founder member on the senior board of Propel. Now, to me, we're the common sense party. Just common sense. We don't have anybody standing in Blind Gwent, so I can actually talk on an impartial basis. I've known politics for many years, and to me, Mandy Moore must be given her chance. Yep. Please share this. I'm convinced. I'm not going to convince you, but get out there, put a box, a cross in the box that is not for Davis, the drunken Davis of the Labour Party. We've had enough. Because Blind Gwent matters to me, and it matters to you too.